Hello everyone, today we are going to study the basic features and characteristics of an editor program. An editor software permits us to type the document on the screen just like a typewriter types on a piece of paper. However, in a typewriter, once the information is typed on the paper, it is permanently marked on the paper and therefore, type characters cannot be rubbed off for any typographical errors. The only solution is to put a white mark using a white marker pen and overwrite the corrections. However, in an editor software, the corrections can be easily done by deleting or overwriting the previously written contents. Also, the typed information can be permanently stored in a secondary storage for future reference and printing. When the typing work is complete and typographical errors, if any, are corrected, the files so generated in the secondary storage can be preserved as long as we want and if needed, a printout or hard copy of the stored information can be made available to the user. Secondly, if the similar information is required to be typed again, the information can be retrieved from the secondary storage, make minor corrections as required and store the information in the secondary storage with a different file name. For example, a standard template containing a blank application form can be prepared. Only name, father's name and other details of the application form are to be changed. Information of different persons filling the application form can be stored with different file names. Also, the editor software allows us to open the stored information, make changes to the stored text and type the additional text as per user requirement. A text editor is a type of software used for editing plain text files containing alphanumeric characters and special characters available on keyboard like percentage, dollar, hash, at the rate etc. Every operating system provides a preliminary text editor which is bundled with the software. For example, the operating system windows provide a software called notepad for editing and creating simple text files. On the other hand, an editor named VI is available on Unix Linux operating system for creating simple text files including creation of high level language programs. The text editors are also provided with software development packages and are used to change the configuration files needed for supporting the underlying hardware and various documentation files. A plain text file uses a UTF-8 or ASCII code to represent numbers, letters from A to Z, whether uppercase or lowercase and symbols. The only invisible or non-printable characters in the file are used to format the text or new line, tab and form field. In plain text file, the gap between words is often filled using space characters. The advanced text editors are used for typing just like the text editors as well as formatting the contents with different page layouts, top, bottom, left and right margins. The formatting supports a variety of fonts and sizes. The required portion of the text can be highlighted with underline, bold or italic. These advanced editors are also called word processors. The features of the word processor such as Microsoft Word are different than the editors used for creating blank text files. The word processor document generally contains special commands or characters for formatting such as boldface, italic and multiple fonts over and above the text which are printable. Some text files contain a combination of human readable text and markup text. For example, web pages are plain text with HTML text to achieve formatting when the file is rendered on a web browser. That means, the web browser when it reads the file converts the text into appropriate formatting for presenting on the page. Many web pages also contain embedded JavaScript that is interpreted by the browser. 
However, these web pages are also prepared using ordinary simple text editors. The word processors were developed to allow formatting of text for presentation on a printed page while the text produced by the text editors is generally used for other purposes such as input data for a computer program. When both formats are available, the user must select with care. Saving a plain text file in a word processor format adds formatting information that can make the text unreadable by the program that expects plain text. Conversely, saving a word processor documents as plain text removes any formatting information. Before text editors existed, the computer text was punched into cards with key punch machines. The physical boxes of these thin cardboard cards were then inserted into a card reader. Magnetic tape and disk card image files created from such card decks often had no line separation characters at all and assumed fixed length 80 character records. The first text editors were line editors oriented to teleprinter or typewriter style terminals without displays. A single keystroke affected edits to a file at an imaginary insertion point called the cursor. The edits were verified by typing a single line of the file. The line editors were major improvements over key punching. Some line editors could be used by key punch. Editing commands could be taken from a deck of cards and applied to specified files. Some line editors support a verify option in which the altered lines are displayed in a different colors. The alterations are made permanent only after verifying through the verify option that the change is correct and is required. The screen based text editors were popular and common with the evolution of video screens in computer terminals. The earliest full screen editor was O26 which was written for the operator console of CDC 6000 series computers in 1967. Another full screen editor was VI written in 1970s on Linux Unix environment. Emacs which is also a type of editor software and it was one of the first open source and free software projects uh, and that is also works as a full screen real time editor. And the Emacs software was ported to many systems. A full screen editors ease of use and speed compared to the line based editors motivated many early purchases of the video terminals. Some text editors are small and simple while others offer broad and complex functions. Microsoft Windows systems comes with a simple editor called notepad. Though many people especially programmers prefer other editors with more features. Most word processors can read and write files in plain text format allowing them to open files saved from text editors. Saving these files from a word processor however requires ensuring the file is written in the plain text format. The default file format of this word processor often resembles a markup language with the basic format being plain text and visual formatting achieved using non-printing control characters or escape sequences. Later the word processor like Microsoft Word store their files in a binary format and are almost never used to edit plain text files. Some text editors can edit unusually large files such as log files based in a single file. To improve the performance of editing large files, only the visible portion of the large files is brought in memory. The portion of the file not referred or edited is not brought in the memory. This feature helps to improve the editing performance and consumes less memory. Some editors are programmable meaning they can be customized for specific uses. One motive for customizing is to make the text editor use the commands of another text editor with which the user is more familiar. 
or to provide a missing functionality, the user needs to efficiently write his source program. The software developers often use editor customization tailored to the programming languages or development environment they are working in. A text editor written or customized for a specific use can determine what the user is editing and assist the user often by predicting the user's intent and likely programming terms and showing tool tips with relevant documentation. Many text editors for software developers include source code syntax highlighting and automatic indentation to make programs easier to read and write. The programming editors often let the user select the name of an include file function or variable then jump to its definition. Some editors also allow for easy navigation back to the original section of the code by storing the initial cursor location or by displaying the requested definition in a pop-up window or temporary buffer. <music> Typical features of an editor software are first find and replace. Using the find and replace commands, the text editor provides extensive facilities for searching and replacing text found in a file. For example, if the spelling of Apurva is by mistake spelled as A P U R V A throughout the file, a single find and replace command can replace all the occurrences of the word A P U R V A with another correct word A P double O R V A. The next set of commands is cut, copy and paste which was first introduced by the windows operating system. Most text editors provide methods to duplicate and move the text within a file. Using the copy command we can highlight a portion of the text and we can copy that using a simple copy command and then that copied portion of the file can be pasted anywhere within the file or to some other files also. The Microsoft Windows supports cut, copy and paste facility across various editors as well as other application softwares where there is scope of typing or putting images. The third feature of the white processors or text editors is text formatting. The text editors often provide basic formatting features like line wrap, auto indentation, bullet list formatting using ASCII characters command formatting, syntax highlighting and so on. The fourth feature is undo and redo. All the modern text editors provide a way to undo and redo through a multiple level history. That means, issuing the undo command repeatedly will revert the document to successively older edits. A separate redo command used successively will cycles the edits forward towards the most recent changes. The number of changes remembered depends upon the editor and is often configurable by the user. The fifth feature of the text editor or the word processor is data transformation. Reading or merging the contents of another text file into the file currently being edited. Some text editors provide a mechanism to insert the text output of an operating system command which is first executed every time the editor is open. The next important feature is filtering. Some advanced text editors allow the editor to send all or the section of the file being edited to another utility and read the result back into the file in place of the lines being filtered. This for example is used for sorting a series of lines alphabetically or numerically doing mathematical computations, indenting source code and so on. The next feature of text editor or word processors is syntax highlighting. The contextual highlights the various uh, you can say the words of a source code 
or markup languages or config files or other text that appears in an organized or predictable format. Editors generally allow users to customize the colors or style used for each language elements. The another feature of the text editors is that they allow users to install and use themes to change the look and feel of the editor's entire user interface. And the last feature of the word processor is extensibility. A text editor intended for use by the programmers must provide some plugin mechanism or be scriptable so a programmer can customize the editor with features needed to manage individual software projects. The customized functionality are key bindings for specific programming languages or version control systems are confirmed to the specific coding styles. Next category of editors is specialized editors. Some editors include special features and extra functions for instance. Source code editors are text editors with additional functionality to facilitate the production of the source code. These often feature user programmable syntax highlighting and code navigation functions as well as coding tools or keyboard macros similar to an HTML editor. Another feature used in the editors used for programming environment is folding editor. The folding editors are useful in a programming environment where a large program consisting of hundreds of lines is folded into a small screen such that only the indentation of if else are nesting within the loop structure is visible and code portion within the control structure block is hidden. The IDEs that is integrated development environments are designed to manage and streamline large programming projects. They are usually only used for programming as they contain many features unnecessary for simple text editing. The world wide web authors are offered a variety of HTML dedic editors dedicated to the task of creating web pages. These include Dreamweaver and eText editor. Many offer the option of viewing a work in progress on a built-in HTML rendering engine or standard web browser. That means while creating the HTML pages, you can see how it will look like when rendered on a browser. Most web development is done in a dynamic programming language such as Ruby or PHP using a source code editor or IDE. The mathematicians, physicists and computer scientists often produce articles and books using latex thin plain text files. Another type of special editor is a collaborative editor. The collaborative editors allow multiple users to work on the same document simultaneously from remote locations over a network. The changes made by the individual users are tracked, highlighted and merged into the document automatically to eliminate the possibility of conflicting edit. Also, the username and his comments on why and when these lines were edited are also present. The simultaneous editing is a technique in end user development research to edit all the items in a multiple selection. It allows the users to manipulate all the selected items at once through direct manipulation. The Lapis text editor and multi edit plugin for gedit are examples of this technique. Another type of text editor is a distraction free editor. The distraction free editor allows a writer to focus on writing and text creation with minimum interface like toolbar, horizontal and vertical rules. Thus, distraction free editors are useful for journalists and writers in creating new documents like newspaper articles, poems and stories. So, what we have learned today are the various features of text editors and word processors. The application of text editors in a programming environment and the word processor for efficiently preparing and formatting the documents was discussed. 
the variants of the editor for specific purpose like scientific and mathematical equation was discussed in the end. Thank you.